Welcome into Red Empress Tarot. I'm Patty. I'm an intuitive, a reader, and a healer on the Twin Flame Path myself, here to read you a message for your Twin Flame journey. I believe that if you have found this video and this channel, you've been guided to do so. Uh, if you love the content, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the tribe. Make sure that you tap into your intuition. Make sure that you are following your internal guidance. It's really important. And every thumbs up to the video is so valuable. I love every one of you. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. Hi, all. Welcome to this week's Divine Charms reading. Um, this week, we're just going to be asking Spirit what's going on in the uh, Twin Flame Connection in Separation for the camp, for the collective watching the reading. Um, we'll see what comes out. Could be anything. Um, make sure that you're tapping into your intuition. And hey, guys, I'm going live every Thursday now at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Um, I'm answering a question at the end of the reading for anyone that's logged in that has a, a question. And I'm um, really enjoying interacting with people that way. Thank you so much to those of you guys who are buying private readings. I love interact with, interacting with you one-on-one -on -one and helping you in a deeper way one-on-one. -on -one. It's really enjoyable to me. I do have a few slots left, but not too many. So if you're interested in that, um, get a hold of me at, at um, redempresstarot.com. You can book that there. Okay, let's go ahead and start the reading. See what we get. One second here. I'm going to grab some water. Okay. Let's see what comes out. <laughs> okay, that one wants to go. Okay, let me just um, flip right side up anything that's um, landed wrong side up. I'm going to keep them right where they are. <laughs> Got the Pac Man charm again this time. Okay. They're all good. Oh, not too many this time. Measuring spoons. Okay, let's see what we get for the reading. This one is a bit upside down. Okay, so I'm finding if I start at the center of these readings and work out, that's kind of how it works. Okay, so in this reading, I see that Divine Masculine has been kind of caught in, in a sticky situation for a while. Um, he's been in a karmic situation that he didn't feel he could get out of. He was really deep in his emotions about this too. It wasn't like a, a connection of convenience. This was a romantic connection where he felt um, really deep emotion. He cared about this person, but unfortunately they did not care back the same way. He really wanted to be close with this person, emotionally close, and this person was emotionally distant. Um, and he really felt um, unsettled in this connection, and like he didn't have any protection um, from this person's coldness. I'm getting this person could really... Um, 
really be painful with their words is what I'm getting. Um, and I see him really moving fast out of this connection now. I feel like he was stuck for some time in that connection. It really was a while. Um, I'm getting it could be four, four, four months or four years um, that he was stuck in time in this connection. And it really didn't grow. It didn't progress the way that he wanted to. It was just time stood still. And it was the same old, same old, same again, same again, same again. And it looks like over and over he tried to mend what was wrong with this connection. He tried to fix it. Um, but he wasn't able to do that. He was always left out in the cold in this connection. He wanted to believe in it so much. And... Um, the, the divine sent him signs repeatedly, 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 gave him outs, right? So I'm seeing like when you're in line at an amusement park um, for a big, big roller coaster. And you know how there are bailout points where um, you can get out of the line and, and go do something else, take another direction. Um, the divine gave the masculine bailout point after bailout point. Lots of points where he could say, look, I see this isn't working. Let's end this because it, this isn't right. But he never took them until now. He's finally taking the bailout point. He finally is taking the lesson and the, the cues from the divine that this is never going to be healthy for him. This was not healthy for him at all. He didn't create what he wanted to create in this connection. I see that he wanted like home and hearth and family, but it was just pain. It was just pain. He was trying to create something beautiful, but he got burned over and over. And I see him being really bored in the connection. Like I see the divine masculine just hanging out watching TV kind of thing, like tuned out, tuned out emotionally when he really wanted, more than anything, to be tuned in. He wanted, this, he wanted his wish fulfillment in this, but it wasn't to be. He was just left out in the cold all the time. He it finally got to the point where um, the Divine gave him enough signs that he started asking the right questions. And the feminine energy um, couldn't answer. I get a narcissistic vibe here. I get a really narcissistic vibe. The, this karmic was playing games with him. I get that this karmic was accusing the masculine of things that they were doing. And that's what karmics do. That's what, that's what narcissistic ones do anyway, often. It's like the masculine here was waiting for dawn to break in this connection. He like kept thinking. It's like having a gambling addiction where you go to the casino and you know you put in so much money and you don't win, but you think, okay, the next time I have to win then. And then you, you invest again and you lose it. You lose. And then you think, okay, but I invested so much that next time it's going to come through. And it's like that cycle. It's like a gambling cycle that the divine masculine was in. He might also have a gambling issue. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing that gambling on this karmic over and over again, and he really needed to learn the lesson of his own value. He was not valuing himself. He wanted this unique, beautiful connection, and he just couldn't get it here, no matter how much work he put in. If your person is a Virgo, or if you have Virgo high placement in either of your charts, this could be some confirmation that this message is for you. That's the only sign that came out here. Um, it doesn't have to be, but that's just like extra confirmation. There was so much drama here. We got the no, no drama llama. This is like my favorite charm. So much drama. And like Divine Masculine is over the freaking drama. No matter how much this karmic apologizes, they're not going to get their wish fulfillment here. They're not going to get the masculine back. He's done. They, time has run out on this connection. He's, he's just totally out. 
emotionally has checked out of this connection. Done. No more work can be done on it. Nothing else can be put into it. It would just be um, completely lost. It, it would be wasted energy. This endless cycle is over. He's on to brighter days. Nice. Really on to a beautiful, bright, fruitful future. He's taking comfort in the divine now. This is a divine masculine that is getting the downloads and listening to spirit now. He's really paying attention to his guides. He's now really, he's finally got it. It's clicked. The, the, the downloads, the signs, the synchronicities, the guidance from his spiritual team, it's clicked. He's got it now. And he's feeling comforted from that. Otherwise, he'd be a mess right now. I mean, as it is, he'll, he's going through a hard time. You know, in this connection, he was so robotic in his actions. I think this karmic was abusive. The game playing from the karmic really kept the wheels stuck. Their karmic wheel. He couldn't. The, the relationship just couldn't move forward. And he became, became very robotic in, in his daily life. Getting out in nature is helping too. I'm getting between the two of these things, comfort is being brought from spirit and from nature. Um, those are the things that are helping divine masculine power through this ending, power through the drugs of this karmic cycle. He's seeing the light now. The spirit is shining the light on what's good. He's He's no longer putting work into things that go nowhere. He won't do it anymore. It's like before he was putting so much effort into um, dead-end situations, things that were just downwardly spiraling, down fast, downwardly spiraling fast. And he's no longer putting that work in. He's transforming. For a long time, he just wasn't taking the lessons. No matter, no matter how they came at him, he just wasn't taking them. But he's done fighting spirit. He's not going to do it anymore. He wants to set his world right again. He's ready to set his world right again. He's climbing out of the hole. And he's cutting ties with the things that don't serve him. He's totally sweeping away the junk in his life. People... I get mostly people, but also places, um, bad habits that didn't serve him anymore that he picked up with this karmic situation. He's healing his heart. And that process is divinely protected. He's a student of the universe now. He's becoming a student of the universe. And this clearing out of the old is allowing him to see the lessons and be more curious about learning um, about himself, about his gifts, about his place in the universe, about his place in his divine connection. There's really nothing about divine feminine in here. This is all about divine masculine having an ending um, and a new beginning, like getting ready. He's clearing, he's in the middle. He's had this ending with this karmic person that was just a freaking mess. Um, and is really in that place of clearing out right now, clearing out the old energy, clearing out the bad habits, cutting out um, all of the behaviors that he, um, that he developed as coping mechanisms to deal with this karmic situation. I <laughs> got the pig upside down here. I think he feels like, in some instances, he was kind of a pig. You know, he was, he was not interested in anything but this karmic situation. Like, he, I think he really um, cut off people that really cared about him, is what I'm getting. He cut off real knowledge. He stopped listening to any real knowledge. He cut off the real people in his life. And he's recognizing that now, and I think he's trying to repair it. 
by sweeping out the old. First, he's got to get rid of the old stuff. And then he can start to bring back the beautiful things in his life that belong there, that are going to be for his highest good, that are going to help him heal his heart. He doesn't want any more drama in his life. He's done with the drama. That's absolutely true. He wants to... You know, this isn't an emotional masculine. This is, an, this is a masculine who understands his own heart, who likes to be in love, who likes to show emotion, who likes to show that they care. But this karmic partner that he was with just beat it out of him. I think that every time he did that, he was like mocked or hurt, stung in some way until he just closed it all in. He closed in on himself. He closed in in his heart. And I think he kept trying to give, trying to give. And every time he tried to mend it. And every time this person would hurt him, make him feel bad for who he is. They wouldn't let him be who he is. This is a divine masculine that is at heart um, very caring, very emotional, very sweet and romantic under the hard surface that he's had to create over um, a lot of pain. And right now he's trying to clear away the hard surface. He's like chipping away at the crust um, that has developed from so much, so many painful situations. There's no fixing this karmic situation. It's gone. It's absolutely gone. I've been channeling this message. This is just giving me a little more information on it. But, um, yeah, this karmic situation is dead. And he's really on, I, I feel like smiling. He's really in this place of, he's really in this place of climbing out of the hole, sweeping out. It's kind of like moving into a new place, but it's not clean. And so you do this like uber cleaning spree and make everything beautiful and perfect and then once it's beautiful and perfect because you don't just move your stuff into a dirty space right you would never do that he's cleaning all of his spaces the spaces in his heart the spaces in his brain the spaces in his physical life getting everything back to factory settings is what i'm hearing set back this is a very also a very analytical divine masculine this is a divine masculine who thinks very logically he's very balanced though i think he's been in his logical brain for a long time because he got um he got hurt when he was in his heart space he had to close off his heart space but he's very balanced he's very logical and analytical and he's also very um in very sweet, very kind, very loving. But he had to really protect that part of himself for a long time. Four months, four years, somewhere between there. I know that's a big gap, but one of those might resonate for someone. Yeah. Okay, loves, this has been your Divine Charms reading. I hope it has brought you some clarity. Um, if it didn't resonate, um, go back into my video library and see if you find something else that resonates for you. Readings are timeless. They are for you when you find them and when they pop out at you and when they resonate for you. Okay, because time is fluid, energy is fluid. I could be reading this now and someone in a year or two years can pick it up and it's going to be right for them. Um, I've had that experience myself, so I know it's true. Okay, loves. Thank you for letting me be part of your day and your journey. Come join me live on Thursdays at 6 p.m. Ask me a question. Interact with me personally. I'd love to even just say hello to you. Um, I will see you next time. That thumbs up on the video is incredibly um, appreciated. Thank you so much. And um, I love you. Take care.